Okay, so now we're starting turn number five with Arjun. And things are, could be better, that's for sure. Arjun has six hit points, so that's not too bad. But Alyssa went down in the last turn. And that gargoyle has two hit points. And Arjun has no way to deal with the creature that has two hit points. Well, let's see here. Maybe this can possibly help us. Until the end of your next hero phase, each hero gains a bonus to attack rolls. That doesn't really help us. I mean, it might a little bit, but it doesn't help us uh, do more damage. It just increases our, our, our chance of hitting by one. So one thing we can do is we can just plan to get away from the gargoyle. That might be the best thing to do. And we may just want to run and get away from it. Because as long as we're more than one tile away, the gargoyle sits and does nothing. So what I might want to do is use Arjun's turn to move. Um, I probably would have to move twice to get away from it. But as long as I get like up here, I'm more than one tile away. But I may just want to, if I'm going to, if I'm going to. So one option would be to have him move twice. Oh, Let's see, how far can he go? One, two, three, four, five. So he would only be able to get to here on one move. But if he moves twice, let's say we're going this way. We're going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Actually, if I play that right, I might be able to get to an unexplored edge over here. One two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, yeah. So Arjun can make it to that unexplored edge, and that'll get us far enough away from the gargoyle that it will sit there and do nothing. And then when Alyssa activates, uh, comes back up, and the next turn using Healing Surge, she can ping the zombie for one, and then go one, two, three, four, five, six. She has a speed of six, so she can get far enough away from the gargoyle that it will sit there and do nothing. And I, So I think that's going to be the plan, because Arjun just doesn't have a way to deal with it, and it'll take multiple turns to kill it, in which time it will activate, you know, once or twice and do a lot of chaos. So, yeah, we're just gonna, we're just gonna run for it. So Arjun's gonna just do move, is gonna move twice. So one, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's just go ten. Let's have him move all the way to ten. All right. So Arjun did not use a surge. He moved twice. So he doesn't have any chance to get a treasure. And he is exploring. So let's explore for Arjun. And we got a white tile. It's nice. No... Uh, no encounter. So Arjun gets a monster. And it's going to be a wolf. So we'll place that down there. Come over to our table of monsters, grab a wolf, and put it down on the bone pile of the new tile. So it was a white tile. Wolf. No conditions for him. Uh, no encounter. There's the gargoyle. And there's the wolf. So uh, that's going to be, there, there's no encounter, so we move straight into the monsters. The gargoyle, ta its tactics are that if it's within one tile of a hero, it moves to that hero's tile and attacks everybody on the tile. Again, when heroes are down, monsters ignore them like they don't exist, which makes sense. So otherwise, the gargoyle does nothing. Great. If the wolf is adjacent, it's not. If it's within two tiles, it is. It's going to move adjacent to Argent and Pounce. So it's going to go bone pile to bone pile. And Pounce with a plus seven. If it hits, it's going to do, uh, it's going to slow us down. So let's hope it don't hit. And it's a three. So three plus seven is ten. It missed. And that's good news for us. And it doesn't do anything else on a miss. It's the way it should be. 
Okay, so that's the end of Arjun's turn. Now we begin Alyssa's turn. She will need to use a healing surge to come back to life. So she's going to do that and spring up into action. So let's consider what options we have for her, because now we have a wolf down. So let's see. So she can ping the zombie. Or if she moves six, let's see if she can get adjacent to the wolf, because if she can get adjacent to the wolf, I would rather have her take out the wolf than the zombie, because the zombie, if we run away from it, it'll take a couple turns to catch up to us, and it has a lower AC and a lower attack and all that. Everything about the zombie is lower. I'm pretty sure the zombie is the weakest monster in the game. So she can go one, two, three, four, five, six. She can just make it. So one, two, three, four, five, six. She can just make it to the to the to the wolf. So that's what I'm gonna have Alyssa do. She's gonna move adjacent to the wolf and just use her little ping attack to knock it out. So the wolf goes down, goes into our experience pile. And let's update before we get all out of whack again. So she moves, she attacked, she gets a treasure card. So let's draw a treasure card. Just kidding. Potion of Rejuvenation. Flip up one of your unused powers. All right, I'm going to have her give this to Arjun because all her powers are not used. So she's going to give this to Arjun. Now, do we want to have Arjun get back that plus 11 attack that does two damage? Or we want him to get the uh, two hit points back again. Where is Arjun at? Arjun's at six. Um, I have a feeling this thing's going to come in more handy, so let's have him flip that back over. So she gives this to Arjun, he's very thankful, and discards it. Although, actually, I don't know... Yeah, he actually, he wouldn't be able to do that immediately, he's got to wait till his hero phase, so let me play that out correctly. She gives it to Arjun, but he can't use it yet. Let's, let's do it correctly. Okay, so she drew, uh, and the wolf is gone. She pinged it. So she drew her treasure card. Now she cannot explore because she is not on an unexplored edge. And her hero phase ended, which means that this thing is gone. So that didn't help us. So she cannot explore, she can't even use her scout, so nothing here, nothing, nothing, um, encounter is forced. Let's see, let's update all of our stuff, the wolf is gone. Okay. Okay, so a forced encounter, but again, we can cancel if it's too terrible. Ambush. Attack each hero on the active hero's tile. We'll prop, well, let's see, place a new monster. Yeah, we'll probably cancel this because... Well, let's see. The only thing it's going to do is slow us down. And bring out a new monster. So it brings out one new monster, because it doesn't say place a new monster on the active hero's tile for each hero. It just one, it's just one monster. So, how much experience do we have? We only have enough to cancel one. The problem is, if that slows us down, hmm. Yeah, the problem is, if that slows us down, then we're going to have a hard time exploring the next turn, which is going to cause even more let's let's go ahead and cancel it i think it might be a mistake to cancel this but we're going to pay the five experience so we got the three from the wraith and one two more so that's our five so that's canceled so she got an encounter but we canceled it now she still has a zombie under her activation so the zombie will now activate, and basically all it's going to do is move one tile closer. 
So it's going to go bone pile to bone pile. And that'll happen again next turn. And if we get away, basically we can kind of run away from the zombie. I'm not too worried about if it catches up to us, but... Okay, so that was the end of Alyssa's turn. So that's going to end turn number five.